Closures and cancellations are hard to calculate at this point. We know our economy and our neighbors are going to take a serious hit with society effectively closing off. Let's talk to Q13 Simone Del Rosario. Restaurants closing, employees being laid off. It seems like it's going to get way worse. Yeah, unfortunately, experts say this is just the beginning. Look, these are painful measures. The fact is, though, social distancing measures are necessary to save lives and to contain this spread. But in the meantime, we're seeing these ripple effects across our region. This is going to affect everybody in Seattle in some way. So right now, the hourly employees are on the front lines as the businesses uh, try to hold on and weather this storm. Uh, but ultimately, the businesses uh, might find, if this extends too long, that they still have to pay rent, they still have to pay insurance, their bills are still stacking up uh, while the revenue is not coming in. And so small businesses and local arts organizations, which were, again, already struggling with the rising office space rents and, and the housing affordability, uh, we're going to start to see them start to struggle a lot next. Um, but then after that, you know, uh, they're paying rent. Uh, and so we're going to see landlords feel the crunch as, um, you know, the hourly workers and the small businesses might not be able to make their rent. And then uh, those landlords are paying their mortgage and ultimately the banks uh, rely on, on paying back that, uh, that loan. And so this ripples and will continue to ripple. Well, Shulman tells me what we can do now is try to slow the spread of that economic pain. And in my neighborhood of West Seattle, the owner of Peel and Press says that's exactly what the community has done for him. We put out on social media that we're that we're down, you know, 30, 30, 40 percent in sales uh, a couple days ago. And yesterday was the first time we were packed in a long in the, since this outbreaks happened. And it's, uh, you know, it's stressful every night when I put my head down or my employee is going to continue to have a job. And to see these customers come out and care about this business and the employees is it just fills your heart. It's it's amazing to see. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's not as busy as normal, he says, but it is busier than the new normal he has seen since the spread of COVID-19. Now, look, if you don't feel like going in or you can't go into this restaurant, he says buying carry out and gift cards is a good way to keep all of these businesses in our neighborhoods afloat so they don't have to lay off their employees. The restaurant industry is one of the biggest employers in Seattle, even though it's made up of all small independent places. There's a lot of people who depend on, on folks coming out and ordering and having those jobs. Uh, unemployment doesn't cover what they make, and it's already a tough city to live in. So if you can, please come out and support, um, support the people who, who provide you services. We, we need your help right now. Yeah, it's certainly a hard time right now, especially yeah. for those industries and those workers on the margins, as Jeff Shulman was telling me, the people who are the first to be affected by the stop of everyone being out and about in our society, but surely not the only ones that will be affected down the road. Definitely is a ripple effect. I mean, you see